In this video, I'll show you how to run GPU code on modal. If you want to follow along, go to modal.com, sign up for an account, and follow the instructions to pip install modal and create a new token from your workstation. Once you're all set up, open a new file, and the first thing we'll do is create a modal app and give it a name. Next, you define modal functions on the app, which are decorators on top of ordinary Python functions. So let's write a very simple function here that just prints out the GPUs on the host machine. And we'll wrap this in a try except because if there are no GPUs, it will just throw an exception. Great. And to run this, we simply run modal run. And so what this is doing is taking your code, putting it in a container and running it on modal's cloud infrastructure. And so this is actually running in the cloud and you can see by default, a container on modal does not have any GPUs. So it tells us there's no GPUs. To attach one, simply pass in the GPU parameter into your function decorator, like so. Let's add an A10G. So now if we rerun this code, we should see a A10G attached to the container. We can also attach multiple GPUs. Let's add two A10Gs. We should see two A10Gs pop up on the container. There they are. And you can also pass a list of your preferred GPUs. So let's say, for instance, we want an H100, but if it's not available, we'll accept the A10G as well. And modal behind the scenes will do its best to match you in the order of uh, pre your GPU preference. So in this case, we didn't get an H100, but we can also remove this argument to force the H100. And there it is. Lastly, uh, modal makes it very easy to run uh, many operations in parallel with something called map. So to try that out, let's first create something called a local entry point, which is effectively like a setup code that runs on your computer before we trigger the remote function. And what we'll do in this local entry point is call map on check GPU, which will spin up a range of 50 inputs in parallel. So we could be running 50 GPU functions in parallel. We just have to adjust this function to actually accept some inputs. Let's do something very simple. And uh, for the map to work, we have to wrap it in a list because it's a generator. And now what we're doing is we're running 50 GPU functions in parallel, which is pretty cool. So if you want to check out all of the uh, GPUs we have available, you can go to modal.com slash pricing. And we charge by usage by second. So here's what you can use. Here are the hourly rates. And we have tons of more advanced examples of using GPUs. If you go to our docs page examples, there's lots of stuff here. I uh, just want to call it a few of them. Uh, this first one is uh, deploying Llama and VLLM on modal, kind of like running your own chat GPT like um, chatbot API endpoint. Uh, you can also fine tune uh, popular text to image models. So this example uh, fine tunes flux on pictures of a pet and it teaches the model a new noun that you can use in your AI art generation. And lastly, of course, GPUs are great at rendering graphics and we have a great uh, example using Blender to create animated 3D scenes like this. And that's GPUs on modal. If you have any questions, uh, please leave some comments in the video or you can join our Slack channel, modal.com slash Slack. We're very active there. And we look forward to seeing what you guys build with modal.